Okay, so against my uh, better judgment, I'm gonna be doing a lecture on business calculus because this is uh, a place, chapter four, is where we're looking at applications of calculus. And I'm not a big fan of business calc, but uh, be that as it may, uh, I'm d that's just my preference because I come at it more from a science math side of things. But prejudices aside, um, I sort of did an absurd amount of research uh, to get some reasonable numbers, but of course, I'm not a sweater knitter and I'm not a business person. I'm a math teacher um, in a school. So let's look at a situation. Suppose you are, suppose you decide that uh, you've been laid off by uh, your job and you wanna make some income. I saw an article on the, in the New York Times about this and these people, they decide that they're gonna start making hand-knit sweaters. Okay, so you're knitting away, and you sort of realize that at $500 per sweater, you can sell, um, you can sell 100 sweaters You got 100 sweaters to sold. And because you know just a little bit of uh, business calculus, you sort of determine this formula. You say that profit is equal to your price minus your uh, variable costs. times your volume minus your fixed costs. Okay, <clears throat> and so for a simplification, we're gonna just sort of take out the fixed costs. The, the fixed costs are going to be what's your rent or what's your mortgage, what's your electricity, how much does your car cost to maintain, how much does food cost, uh, life insurance, all that stuff. So just in this case, the fixed costs are going to be just how much money you spend living your life. And so <clears throat> we'll just assume that this is sort of your salary. So so this is like your salary and we'll just consume we'll just assume that your fixed costs are just come out of your salary. Variable costs are how much your costs are per sweater. So basically you're probably gonna have to uh, buy, well, you're definitely gonna have to buy some yarn and then maybe some other supplies. <clears throat> so you sort of say, well, my salary is equal to $500 minus, let's say I've got $115 of materials into each sweater times 100 sweaters and so let me grab my calculator it's gonna be uh, 500 500 minus 115 times 100 and you make <coughs> your salary for that is gonna be uh, $38,500. So that's your year yearly salary off of that is you make about $38,000, $39,000 a year. But now the thing is you figure that you can knit more sweaters than that. You can't sell more sweaters than that. That's about, <clears throat> when, you're, when you're talking about a $500 price point, <coughs> that's about you can only find about 100 people that wanna buy your sweaters at $500. But you figure out that if you lowered your price to $400, you could sell about 140 sweaters and that would give you um, 400 minus 115 times 140. That gives you 
$39,900. Okay, so, you, so you're making more money. So you, you're like, well, that's great. But then you remembered my business calc lecture and you said, hey, wait a second. If I can sell 500, if I can sell 100 sweaters at $500, and I can sell 140 sweaters at $400, then I can come up with sort of, I, this, is, um, this is like the sort of most simple demand function available, so a linear demand function. So this is really, really, really simple business calc. So we're gonna say, may, well, maybe I could sell 120 at 450. So I come up with this idea, I go, uh, my M is equal to change in Y over change in X. So it's gonna be uh, 400 minus 500 over 140 minus 100, so I get my M is equal to negative uh, 100 over 40, and so my M is negative 2.5. And then I say Y equals MX plus B, and I say that uh, 400, uh, let's put that in there, 400, equals negative 2.5 times 140. We can even do the math easier like this. Put that 500, make that 100 plus B. And so that's 250, that's 750. So my B is equal to 750. So I'm going to say that, um, my, I'm gonna say that my price, my price is going to be 750 minus 2.5 times volume. Think about that one for a little bit. That if I, if I have a volume of 100, I can sell I can sell 100 at $500. I can sell 140 at $400. And so uh, this is, I'm just, there's other ways to write this. This is the way I'm gonna write it. So now I'm gonna say, let's call this P, let's call that 750 minus 2.5 V. So now my profit is going to be equal to 750 minus 2.5 V minus my variable cost which is 115 and there, there's other things that go into that as well so that I'm making like horrendous simplifications but just so you can get an idea of where we're heading with this so my profit is going to be my demand minus my, my demand price minus my fixed cost times my volume. And so if I do this out, my profit is equal to uh, 750 minus 115 635. So it's going to be, and then distributing that in, I'm gonna get negative 2.5 V squared plus 635V. So max profit uh, let's, I, I've already used P for price. I don't know what to use for profit. Uh, let's put um, dollar sign. Okay, 
My maximum profit is when the derivative of the profit divided by the derivative of the profit with respect to volume equals zero. So I take d dollar sign dv, that's going to be the derivative of this function, so it's going to be two times negative 2.5, so that's negative five v plus 635, and I want to set that equal to zero. Okay, let's uh, not crowd it down. So now, put that up there. Let's just copy it over. So I've got 5v is equal to 635, v is equal to 635 divided by 5. So that means that I've got 1v equals 1, 6, 3, 123. 123, I believe, is what I get. Oh, uh, no, let's see. Uh, let's do that again. 635 divided by 5, 127. Okay. 127 sweaters. Well, now what's my price? My price in my little model, my simple model, is going to be 750 minus 2.5 times 127. So my price is 750 minus 2.5 times 127. Is 432.5. Okay. And probably people are uh, not going to care about the 32.5, but this is calculus and we want to be exact. So now my profit is equal to my price, which is 432.5, minus my fixed cost, which is 115 in yard and supplies, times my quantity that I can sell at that price. So I do 432.5 minus 115. I multiply that by 127, and I get 40 point, I get $40,322.5. Okay, so once, a more, once more, what we're saying is that you sell them, you sell your sweaters at an expensive price, and you can and you can't sell as many sweaters as you can make. You can make more sweaters than that, but you can only sell 100 at $500 because there's not a lot of people who want to buy a $500 sweater. But you've got good quality sweaters, and so you find that if you lower the price, more people want to buy your sweater. Now. If you lowered your cost, if you lowered your price down to say zero, if you're just giving away these really awesome sweaters, basically an infinite number of people would would uh, would buy them, but you wouldn't or would take them because they're cool sweaters, but you wouldn't make any money. So, if you're going to drop the price by a hundred, you can sell forty more sweaters, and you make about. $1,400 more a year. But if you do a simple demand function, very, very simple demand function like that, and you plug it into that and you take the derivative and set the derivative equal to zero, you find that you can actually make more money by making less sweaters. So at 140, you're making just under $40,000 a year. But if you back it off by 13 sweaters and jack the price, you can make just over $40,000 a year. 
So that's how you can uh, very, very uh, simplistic example of how you can use business calc to figure out how many sweaters you should knit in a year and what price you should sell them for.